Well, hello everyone. Happy Richard here. Thanks for joining me. Hey, are you looking for a great way to mark the queens in your honeybee colonies? Well, today I'm going to be showing you how I mark my queen honeybees using this one-handed queen catcher. So let's go ahead and get started. Watch this. I want to take a little time here and show you how this one-handed queen catcher works um, for marking queens. Um, it has a little plunger here with some soft styrofoam on it. And that plunger is operated with this lever here. The other side has this gate on it. Just kind of slides up here, close the hole. Then it has a queen excluding um, slats on here. She can't get out. So uh, the reason they call it a one-handed queen device is that this can be operated with one hand. So you can grab the queen with one hand. Usually, I usually grab her by the wings. And then you can operate this with the other hand. Place her in here, use your thumb to enclose her in here, and then you can use your, you can come around with your thumb and also use it on here to bring this plunger up. This will not go all the way up, so it does give her some space in here so you don't, you know, squish her entirely, but it will hold her tight in here so that you're able to um, get your marker out and mark her with the correct color. This is all looks like bee bread and pollen and in here. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh my goodness, right there. She's right there at the top. I hope you can see her. Right there. So I'm going to mark her. She's right there in the middle now. All right, so I'm going to lay her down here like this. Keep an eye on her. Now, get rid of this hive tool. I just lost her. Son of a gun. And there she is. I'm going to try to pick her up here with my, by the wings. Okay, I've got her. I've got my one-handed queen catcher here. I'm going to put her inside. Make sure she's down on the bottom and close it up. All right, now I have her safely inside here. You can see. She's safely inside. Now this is designed that you can bring her up in between these slats here. Get that thorax right there where you can uh, get a good look at it, and then I can give, uh, give her a dot. Now this year's dot is red. It's like last year was yellow, the year before was white, and then uh, I'm not sure the, the whole pattern of it all, but, um, but yeah. So this is a great relief for me because I, I know that this is now not a laying worker colony. Um, this was a successful walkaway split that I did. So I am, oh man, I am so excited to find her. This is so awesome. So let me get my red pen out here, or red marker out here. And I'll show you how this works. Make sure it's working right in here. All right, good. Put that down. Now, little lever on the side here is going to push this plunger up. So she comes up against this. Um, it's designed that it will not go all the way up against the slats here. It'll leave a space there for her so, she, so I don't squish her. So I'm going to have to tap her down here. Get her right side up. Come around to the slot here somewhere. Come on, girl. There we go. Okay, so I got her there. Got her right there like that. Hope you can see that. And I'm just going to take a pen right on her thorax, the marker. If you hold still enough. There we go. A little dot. Now I can let her down here. Let her walk around there till she dry, till she dries off, till that paint dries, and then I'll put her back in the colony. Okay, so she's had enough time here for this paint to dry on her thorax. A nice red dot here. I'm going to just tap her down again. These are exoskeletal, which means the skeleton is on the outside. So a little bit of tap like this is not going to hurt her. Tap her down here. Open this cage back up. And she'll just walk right back down on there. There she goes. Now she's back on the frame. Look how much easier that is to find her. I'm going to get her back in here. Don't want to mess with her too much. I'm glad you joined me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, man, I would so appreciate it if you smash that like button. And um, if you like uh, videos like this, you might want to subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, that way you'll be notified when I you know, post new content. And as always, thanks for joining. Happy Richard.